If you have a lot of old cassettes that you would like to convert to MP3 format, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on conversion software and hardware, here is a way to convert them on the cheap. You will need a recent version of Microsoft Windows, one that has Windows Movie Maker, a cassette player with an earphone jack, a computer with a line input either on the front or on the back, and an audio dubbing cable. Using the audio dubbing cable, hook up the earphone jack to the line in jack on the computer. Okay, now we're going to configure our audio capture device. We're going to tell the computer where the audio is coming in at. Come down to start. Come up to control panel. Click on sounds and audio devices. This window will open up. On the volume tab, we're going to set our volume roughly midway. Click on the audio tab. On the sound recording default device, we want that to be line in. If you have any other external devices, they will show up here, but we want line in. Now click on the volume button. Come up to Options and Properties. Make your device that says Line In, which is what we just selected. Recording, we want this Recording button checked. Recording Control, we want that checked. Line Volume, we want that checked. Microphone, we're not using a microphone, so we can leave it checked or unchecked. Okay, now we're going to start Windows Movie Maker. Come down to the Start menu, select All Programs, and then Start Windows Movie Maker. Okay, as soon as you end up, open up a Windows Movie Maker, uh, this is what the screen will look like. You have a capture video, which we will be using. We're going to ignore Edit Movie and we're going to ignore finished movie as we're not actually importing any movie. We have a working bin area and down here we have a couple of tracks. We have a video track which we're going to ignore and an audio music track which we will be using. First thing we want to do is get our uh, input our song. So come up to file Capture video. A wizard will open up. Up here is for uh, some video capture devices. We don't have any video, so we're going to ignore this. Down here is our audio. Notice it says line in mic in. This is what we selected earlier. We need to adjust our audio level first thing. So with your cassette player hooked up, Go ahead and hit play. Once you hit play, you're going to see the relative audio level right here. Adjust your line input up or down so that the average level is roughly midway, uh, maybe just a little lower. We don't want it too high. If it gets too high, it'll actually overdrive and you'll have blank spots throughout the, sound, uh, throughout the songs. Once we have a good level, stop your cassette player hit next. Here we're going to name our, in this case, captured song. It says captured video, but captured song. Uh, you might not want to name this your final song because we're actually going to save it later on. So you might just say song one and then capture. And by default it will store it in the My Videos folder of the My Documents, but if you click Browse, you can store it any place you wish. Click Next. We have a couple of choices here. It says Best Quality and Other Settings. We're actually going to pick Other Settings. Click our drop-down menu. We have several choices here. Notice these are all for video. We do not have any audio choices but we'll still we'll pick one. We'll just pick high quality video large. 
And if you save a song at a time, being that a, song, a typical song is three or four minutes, you're not going to have too much of a problem. Click Next. Now here's where we're going to actually capture the song. We have Start Capture, Stop Capture. So once your song is queued up and ready to go, hit Start Capture. Start your cassette player. Down here, video capture. This is the time, total time of the song. So once the song is finished, hit stop capture, then stop your cassette, and then click finish. It'll put that song right here in your working bin. We're going to take this song. and we're going to drag it down to our audio music track. If you need to edit the song a little bit, there actually is a player over here. You can play the song over here, listen to it, and you can cut out if your lead in or your ending is too long, too many blank spots. You can actually trim those out over here if need be. Once you have the song ready to save, come up here to File. Here we have uh, Save Project, Save Project As. If you want to save all these clips into uh, an overall project, you can do that here. And when you're ready to actually convert the song, do uh, click Save Movie File. Again, a wizard is going to come up. We'll just select this top one, My Computer. Click on Next. Here, now here's where you can actually name the name of this song. So, so whatever your song is, uh, yeah, name the song. And again, same thing, you can save it to wherever you wish. Click Next. Here we have several options. One says Best Quality for Playback best fit, but we're actually going to pick other settings. Come over here, drop down, we have several options here. We'll just pick high quality audio. One thing to note, down here, notice uh, our file type is Windows Media Audio, WMA. It's important that we save it to WMA, because once it's in this format, it'll be uh, easier to convert it from here to mp3. Unfortunately there is no way to save it from mp3 from Windows Maker. So click Next. Here it's saving your song. In order to finish, if you want to listen to your song when you're done, click here. It says Play Movie. It says Play Movie, but it'll actually uh, it'll play the song. Hit Finish and the song is now saved as an MWA uh, format. Next we'll convert it to MP3. Now the final step is to convert the song into MP3 format. To do that come down to Start. Click on My Computer. Click on My Documents. Click on My Videos. That's where the video is stored unless you have stored it someplace else. Here's the song that we want to convert. Notice it is in Windows Media Audio File Format. Click on it one time. Right click. It says Convert Audio Format. This box will open up. File Format. There are several formats available. We're going to pick MP3. Click on Next. Click on Start Conversion. Once it's done, it'll say 1 converted. Click OK. And then Exit. And with that, we have converted a song from a cassette into MP3 format. This video is courtesy of Aspen Roads Production. Thank you for watching.